Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Boris. I'm a board certified physician assistant working in primary care. And today I wanted to tell you about the worst kind of day you can have as a primary care provider. Also, I apologize for the audio quality. Uh, I forgot my AirPods at home. That's usually how I record. It sounds good with that. I'm also just kind of like, like just straight up like emotionally beaten down by today. So I am talking quietly. I'm not yelling not like bouncing off the walls, you know, happy like I, I normally am making these videos at the end of a long day. So bear with me with the sound quality. But those of you interested in medicine, especially interested in primary care, um, I think you're gonna be interested in this video. So yeah, bear with the, uh, the poor sound quality. But anyway, so today, the reason today is the worst kind of day as a primary care provider is I had to start not one, but two people on insulin. That is my least favorite thing to do in my life, in my career. Here's why. Because it's not just a medication that, you know, you skip a day and it's whatever, it's fine. Or this is a medication we're taking temporarily, you know, to make you better, to help you do whatever it may be, to just like solve something, and then you're going to be off of it. No. Putting somebody on insulin usually, not always, but usually, is more or less a lifelong commitment to having to painfully inject yourself with insulin. You can get an insulin pump. Those are extremely expensive. You can get a continuous glucose monitor. Uh, those are also extremely expensive, so most people can't afford them. They usually can't have them. So basically, when it comes to this and I'm forced to do this, I know that it's not just me clicking a few buttons on the screen and saying, you know, your A1C is this, it has not come down with these medications, therefore we have to do this, that's it. You know, see you next time. It's not that. I understand the gravity of what I'm doing to these people and with the gravity of what I'm doing to these people is that I have to make them inject themselves at least once a day, sometimes twice a day, and sometimes even more depending on how out of control their diabetes is uh, per day with a, you know, a needle. It doesn't feel good, it's painful every single day for the rest of their life. And also, unless they can afford a continuous glucose monitoring system, which I just told you is expensive, they, I'm also making them prick their fingers with the Lancet once, preferably twice, sometimes more per day, every single day for the rest of their freaking life to control their sugar. Because as we all know, diabetes is a horrible disease. It totally destroys your blood vessels. It goes after the blood vessels in your feet, your kidneys, your heart and your eyes first. That's why a lot of diabetics, you know, lose toes, uh, you know, amputations, all kinds of wounds that don't want to heal, kidney problems, their GFR goes down, they have kidney disease, eyes, they have to have diabetic retinal, uh, retinal exams because their eyes get worse. Of course, it puts them at a huge risk of heart disease, heart attacks. It's just, it is a horrible disease. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, when you fail medication management, insulin is the next thing that you have to do. And you know, most people do stay on insulin for life. So that is the gravity of the situation. That is why I hate starting insulin more than anything else as a primary care provider because I just know what I'm making these freaking poor people do every single day for the rest of their life. You know, so that's, that's why it's the worst day of your life. Also, another thing I wanted to just discuss, since today I had to start two people on insulin because their A1C is like 10 and it just will not come down no matter what we do. And uh, these two people, the reason I wanna tell you about them is because they are polar opposites. They are totally different. One guy is about 300 pounds, totally uncontrolled diet, is way out of control, eating totally crappy food every day of his life. You know, bread, pasta, sweets, ice cream, you name it, he's eating it. He doesn't care, well, I mean, he cares, but he's just not doing his part. He's you know, got the full metabolic syndrome, cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, eating, just eating himself into a grave. That's one guy. The other guy, skinny, totally not obese, uh, Asian American. I, I forget where he's from exactly, but you know, Asian American, if you've been practicing medicine for a while, you know that Asians, especially East Asians, are uh, very prone to diabetes, even when they're not, you know, obese, when they're not I uh, have every other thing of metabolic syndrome. They just, uh, the theory is based on, you know, years and generations of famine, uh, they are much more susceptible to becoming diabetic from the American diet. 
So unfortunately, you know, he comes to this country for, you know, a better chance for him and his family and, you know, eats the crappy food here and without even really overeating becomes diabetic. And that, I don't know which one's better, which one's worse. You know, you'd be the judge of that. Uh, they're two totally different people. So subjectively, they're just, it's terrible for both of them. And I feel horrible for both of them and their families. But just my point is this terrible disease strikes without mercy at some people who, you know, objectively are doing all the wrong things. And also some people who objectively are not doing anything wrong and just, you know, look at the draw. That's how their body is. And that's how it responds to the American diet. And, you know, the point is today, both of them got this, you know, crappy diagnosis and had to be started on insulin. So yeah, not really a whole lot to say about this kind of a thing. Just wanted to share the reality of working in primary care as a primary care provider, the things that sometimes you have to do to people in order to try to keep them as healthy as possible, you know, and uh, yeah. So kind of a rough day, just uh, whatever value you might get from that. Just thought that I would, uh, yeah. Thought that I'd share that so you know what you're getting into if you ever decide to work in primary care. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a good day. Bye.